everybody, Steve Garner, my title guy, mytitleguy.com. Hey, thanks for stopping by my YouTube channel today. Uh, in today's video, I would like to talk about YouTube's insights, what it is, how to use it. So if you have a real estate blog or real estate website, hopefully you have Google Analytics installed on it. Google Analytics is going to tell you uh, how people are finding your website, how they're finding your content. Uh, how they're engaging with your content, right? Are they, are they going there and they're clicking off right away or are they actually absorbing it and staying on there for three, four, five minutes, etc.? That's Google Analytics. YouTube has a similar tool. It's called YouTube Insights. It's almost like an analytics, if you will. So we're here. We're on the My Title Guy YouTube channel. This YouTube channel has about 157 videos on it. Uh, about 80 of them are public. It is meant for real estate professionals, title companies, uh, real estate agents, loan officers, etc. I've optimized this channel to be found only for people looking for that information. In a previous video, I showed you how to optimize your channel to be found by your ideal client. So I'm going to go here and we're going to click through to one of my videos. I made a video about three weeks ago, a month ago. It was what I call a talking head video. Now, if you can avoid making a talking head video, you're going to want to do that. Why? Because it's usually not very interesting to watch somebody sit in front of a camera and talk, right? But I had no choice for this video. Why? I was announcing a video class that I was going to be doing the following week. So this video got 116 views on it. Now, that may not sound like a lot, but here's where I want to change your way of thinking about YouTube and views. Um, if you have a friend who sends you a video through email and says, hey, take a look at this, um, and, you know, it's, maybe it's a video of a talking dog or you know, take a look at this girl, she's hot, or whatever it may be, right? The first thing you're gonna look at is the number of views. Why? Because we've been conditioned to do that. It, it validates the video we're looking at. If there's, if there's, you know, 50 views on it, maybe it's not so good. If there's 50 million views on it, wow, it must be a great video, so you'll watch it. Well, you wanna change your way of thinking when it comes to YouTube and video marketing as it relates to views. YouTube is about two things for business, traffic and conversion. That's it, right? I use YouTube to get people to my videos, traffic, so they can click through to my website to be converted into clients. That's how you want to look at it. If you know how to optimize your videos to get found, not just in Google, not just in YouTube, but in YouTube's related search, your business will grow. So now looking at this 116 views, you'll see that it was 116 people looking for real estate marketing information as it relates to video. It's a total different scenario, right? So what we're gonna do here is, once again, this is my talking head video. I'm gonna show you why it, was, why it was bad and why it was good. So right over here, we have something called insights and stats. We're gonna go ahead and click on that. And it's gonna open up and we're gonna show us about this video. So this is the video here. I'm gonna go ahead and change this to 30 days. And in 30 days from September 23rd to October 6th, this video had roughly 90, maybe that's 100 views on it. Those views were, came from the United States here in Alaska. And I'm gonna go here. I don't think there's enough information for demographics. Nope, no information. Normally demographics is gonna tell you the age range of the people who are watching this particular video. But what I want, to pay, want you to pay attention to is something called hotspots. Okay, what are hotspots? Hotspots are gonna tell me at what point in the video my video was most engaging, when it was boring, and when I started losing the attention of my audience. This is huge for video. Why? Because video is all about watching people or getting people to watch your videos. Not only that, but you want to get them to the point where there's a call to action at the end where they can be converted. The only way that's going to happen is if you can keep them on your video as long as possible. Hotspots is going to tell you where you're losing your audience so that you can change what you're doing. I told you this was a talking head video. Watch what happened. I started here and it started getting hot and then it went straight down like a rock. So let's see what I was doing. Everybody, Steve Garner with Profile Marketing. Uh, we are an inbound marketing company with like 30 years. Spent 10 years in the Talking about me. Like yourself, grow your business. Nobody cares about me. Nobody cares about you. I'm here to talk to you about clients. It's for teaching you on September 15th from 1 to 2 30 at High Mortgage in Missouri. What's this class about? It's all about Still losing them. Look at that. Now, this is not a why to class, this is a how to class. Right? At this point, I'm just talking like anybody else would. I mean, I'm offering things that are not tangible and I'm paying for it, right? My audience is losing attention. Now, what this means is that they've started clicking off this video, they've left, whatever, okay? Um, 
I'm going to forward this here because I want to see where I reached the bottom and what I was talking about when it started to come back up. So from here. We're also be talking about why it's easier to rank videos um, in Google than it is to do it on the website. Oh, I want to know about that. One thing, I do not want you to be ranking for every website, okay? Here's why. I'm going to show you how to find out what keyword you're trying to use for each one of your videos so you can optimize your search settings so they show up in the same order in the search. Look at that, right? I started talking about things that were of... of that were important or things people were interested in and it started going up. Now, here's the great thing about hotspots. I know right away from looking at this that I want to stay away from talking about or at least get to my point as soon as humanly possible when the video starts, okay? Boom, right away. Not talking about myself, talking about the benefits of this video to my audience immediately. When I did that over here, my engagement went up. When I talk about myself here, my engagement went down. Now, what you should do is you've made a video, a real estate video, it's awesome, right? You've added music to it, you've added transitions to it. This thing is phenomenal. You've uploaded it to YouTube. Most people will set it and forget it from that point. Don't do that. You need to come back and you need to look at where your videos are being engaged. What's going on here? What are you talking about here when your audience attention is leaving? So you cannot do that the next time. Using video, anything to do with online marketing is all about trial and error. Well, guess what? Now I know I'm not going to be doing this anymore, right? I'm going to get straight to the point right away. Now, in another previous video, I talk about how to optimize your videos. There's six ways that you can optimize your videos to get found online. Not just in Google, not just in YouTube, but YouTube's related search, right? Check for that video. Uh, this is Steve Garner, my title guy, mytitleguy.com. Hey, thanks for stopping by. I hope you got some value out of this video. And hey, subscribe, right? Become a fan of my title guy. All right. Later, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.